A true gym is a problem that affects the surface of your eye. It is a pink, fleshy growth of conjunctiva onto the cornea. A true gym causes the eye to look red, which can make you look tired. After having trigium surgery, one of the key things my patients notice is how they look much more refreshed because their eyes are now much whiter and brighter. A trigium can also cause you to feel eye irritation and discomfort due to the actual thickness of the lesion. Most importantly though, a trigium can permanently blur your vision by distorting the curvature of your eye and leaving behind scar tissue. For this reason, we want to remove trigia before they get too big and before irreversible damage has occurred. Trigia occur in response to two things, sunlight exposure and long-term irritation to the surface of your eye. Sunlight exposure is the main cause. Light is reflected off your nose onto the inner cornea of your eye, which is why most trigia occur here rather on the lateral side of the eye. It might interest you to know that in Australia, trigia are much more common on right eyes than they are on left eyes. This is because we sit on the right-hand side of the car when we drive and therefore the right side of our face gets a lot more cumulative light exposure throughout our lifetime. In countries that use left-hand drive vehicles, left eye trigia are more common. Trigia are also caused by long-term eye irritation. This includes regular swimming, particularly in salt water, chronic dry eye disease, inflamed lid margins, which is called blepharitis, and less commonly, chemical burns to the surface of the eye. Trigium surgery is performed as a walk-in, walk-out procedure in a day hospital nearby, and yes, you are completely asleep. My niece will give you intravenous sedation and you're unlikely to remember anything about the procedure. Most patients actually find the experience surprisingly enjoyable as I gather the sedation is really quite pleasant. During the operation, I carefully remove all of the abnormal tissue. The trigium that you see is only the tip of the iceberg. My surgery spans a much larger area than this in order to prevent your trigium from ever growing back. I then mobilize a thin sheet of healthy conjunctiva from behind your lower eyelid this is called a conjunctival autograft. I place this over the site where your trigium was growing, like a bandage, and I secure it in place with dissolvable sutures and tissue glue. The sutures I use are in fact some of the smallest manufactured in the entire world, much finer than a human hair. The benefit of the conjunctival graft is it accelerates healing and dramatically improves your cosmetic result. My goals for trigium surgery are an excellent cosmetic result, fast recovery, and the prevention of the trigium ever growing back. The technique I use is an adaptation of what is known as the perfect technique, and this is widely regarded as providing the very best results. The technique is time consuming to do and it requires great attention to detail, but the outcomes are so much better than less rigorous approaches. I'll now show you some of my results so that you have an idea of what to expect. So here are some before and after pictures of smaller trigia. And here are some larger trigia, 